Hello guys, I'm Lenu from Java Crutch. Let's directly start with the topic. So today we are going to discuss return in finally block. So I have created a test finally return class. In this class, there is a return method which will take boolean as a parameter, and there are three blocks: try block, catch block, and finally block. And there is a main method. In main method, uh, we are calling a return method, and whatever the return method is returning, we are just printing a the string on console so you will be confused whether this statement will be compiled or not so let's see it just copy paste the program in id so you see uh, there is no red line means the compiler is compiled perfectly fine so let's execute it So after the execution, the string from the final block is getting printed. So why this is printed? If you see, we are passing true to the return method, and there is a if block. If if is true is true, then it will throw an exception. So this exception will be caught by catch block, and it should have been printed. A string from catch block, but why finally block? So the finally block, you know, you already know the finally block will always be executed. There are certain scenario we we can prevent the finally block, which we will discuss later on some different case. So in our case, the finally block will always be printed. Why? Because whenever flow of control exit from try block or catch block after that finally pro finally block start executing so whenever finally block exit with the return statement it will always return that well that's why even we have passed true it is it, the 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 return method have thrown an exception will be and caught by the catch block after that also it is written from the catch block then the control goes to the finally block and it returns the value from the finally block so the return in finally block discarded the return from the catch block and prevented the normal mode of execution this is called abrupt completion in java every statement can be completed normally or abruptly so when the statement is completed normally and when the statement is completed abruptly. Let me explain it. Suppose there is a block 1 which has statement 1, statement 2, statement 3 and statement 4. And suppose the statement 1, the execution, the flow of execution starts from the statement 1 and ends with the statement 4. So there is no event occurred that prevents the execution of any of these statements. So the block is the, the block is considered to be completed normally. Now when we can say the statement is completed abruptly. Now consider a block to which which also has a four statement, statement one, two, three, and four. But after the second statement, there is a break. So the suppose the flow of execution start from statement one, it will come to the statement two. Now the break will exit the block 2 and the statement 3 and 4 will not be executed so there is a event occurred that prevent the execution of the statement that means that prevent the normal flow of execution and in that case we can say there is we can say the statement 3 and 4 completed abruptly so this is called abrupt completion. So now let's see what is the definition of normal completion. In a normal mode of execution, if all the computational steps are carried out with a no indication of abrupt completion, the statement is set to be complete normally. Now we will see the abrupt completion definition. So there are certain events like exception, return, break, continue may cause the transfer of control. If such event occurs, then execution of one or more statement may be terminated 
before all the steps of the normal mode of execution have been completed. Such statements are said to be complete abruptly. So now let's go back to the program. So we know that the program is completed abruptly. What is the what is the reason it is completed abruptly? So, so the first reason is in if block we are throwing an exception and this prevents the execution of return statement in a try block. This return is not executed. And the flow of control comes from if to the catch block. And in catch block also what we are doing, we are returning just a string value. And after that, the flow of con flow of execution, the control goes to the finally and it will discard the return from the catch value and the return string is returned from the finally block. So because of these two reason, we can say that the, the program is completed abruptly. Hope you understand the concept of normal completion and abrupt completion. Please guys subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you very much.